When someone is speaking English to you, but it's not your first language, then it's easy to get lost, right? Hello, this is Amrita, your ESL teacher. Welcome to TESOL 3 Minute English. Today, we are going to learn some different ways to say I don't understand. If you just always use I don't understand this fixed expression, then your speech will be like boring and repetitive. So instead of using one particular expression, we can use different expressions to make our speech quite interesting. So let's get started. Expression number one. Sorry, I don't get what you mean. Sorry, I don't get what you mean. That means you are not really sure what the other person said you or what he really meant. So if you don't understand his or her speech, then you can use this flat expression that sorry, I don't get what you mean. Expression number two. I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that. The reason I repeated one expression thrice because I want you to repeat after me. Repeat three times, okay? So you can use this expression if you really didn't understand someone, then you can say, I didn't quite catch that or I didn't catch that. Expression number three, if you're lost, Maybe someone is talking to you and you got absent-minded and you got lost. So you could say, sorry, I didn't follow. Or you can say, I didn't follow. Could you please repeat it? Expression number four. This is quite polite. You can use it. I'm sorry, but you have lost me. I'm sorry, but you have lost me. Maybe you didn't quite pay attention or maybe you didn't really understand his or her speech. So uh, you can really use this expression to sound more polite. You can say, I'm sorry, but you have lost me. Number five, could you run that by me again? Could you run that by me again? Could you run that by me again? It means you are politely asking the other person to repeat the same things again to you. So if you didn't really understand him or her, instead of saying, I don't understand, repeat it please, you can use these expressions. So now the last but not the least, you can use this expression and it is also common expression. Instead of saying, I don't understand, you can use it. Could you please repeat it? Could you please repeat it? That means maybe you didn't understand, uh, but you don't really want to say that you didn't understand his or her speech. You could say, could you repeat that please? So it's all for today's session. Next time, we are going to learn some more expressions. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.